Hi, I'm David Michaels. I'm a river ranger on the Stanislaus National Forest. We mostly work right here on the wild and scenic section of the Tuolumne River. My job is to protect the resource and to assist the public in enjoying this resource. We also support research. For example, we help UC Merced and UC Davis when they're doing research down there. We give them logistical support. Part of a River Patrol's job is doing a little bit of trail work and on official and unofficial trails. This is the route around Clavey Falls and uh, we're opening it up so that folks can get through. And presto, the route's open. One of the things river rangers do here on the Tuolumne and elsewhere is take care of archaeological artifacts, heritage sites, things like that. Behind me is an old powerhouse built at the turn of the 20th century, back around 1900. And it wasn't in operation for all that long, but it was a pretty significant thing in its day. Kind of like it's kind of like a space shuttle at an old power station built in the days when Tesla and Edison were alive. So this is one of the things we looked out for and try to make sure that the artifacts from it don't go missing. And that's part of life on the river. River rangers work as boat operators in support of scientific specialists both for the Forest Service and other agencies and universities. One of the projects we're currently working on is the March microburst over the Tuolumne River Canyon that happened in March of 2018. This was a very, very uh, significant event and we hope to be able to get some baseline data about how these events might impact this river canyon and uh, operations of dams that are downstream of this canyon. If you look behind me, you'll be able to see that there are some big slides out there. So. That's another thing we do. That's something called deer grass right there. Lives in these streams. And this stream just got washed away incredibly with a big blow up. While you're looking there, there used to be vegetation, it's all down to bedrock. But these plants that the indigenous folks used to make baskets out of. We came up here a week after and they were chicken just like this. Happy campers. So, why is it important what I do? Well, so that at about 6 p.m. on a hot day when it's still over 90 out, I can come up here and get cooled off. <laughs> Sometimes, when we're on the water, we take a wait for water, or in the afternoon after we're off the water, sometimes we take a little time and do repairs. In this case, we're repairing the uh, strap on my helmet. Our job is important because protecting this resource, our goal is to pass it along to future generations in as pristine a condition as we see it now. Hopefully, even improve. So if you are interested in becoming a river ranger, some of the qualifications you might want to pursue is experience in emergency medicine, whitewater rescue, and you need to be able to operate a boat competently on class four plus rivers.